first of all, please excuse me if I refer to my notes. Uh, as it stands at the moment, it's very late on Sunday evening, and I didn't watch the game live. Basically, I was I've been at a I haven't been around all weekend. I've been at a pinball convention tournament, and uh, basically I usually get knocked out in the first round. Didn't this time, so I didn't get to. Basically, I didn't get to watch the game, and it's quite a big deal because it's like like the annual national championship sort of thing. So anyway, didn't watch the game. And uh, so I've watched it retrospectively, just watched it back. Uh, it was quite funny, actually, because when I was, was playing in this, in this tournament, I had my phone there and I kept on, kept on checking the scores and uh, gave it all, yes, come on, um, whenever it was, a 70-something minute, um, four now was scored. And, uh, well, I say he scored. Did he score? I'll... I'll he scored. Let's let's give the goal to four nails. Uh, my phone certainly at the time had given uh, my goal to four nails. But so my initial reaction, I think I checked the team. No Ben Rama in the team, so I thought, okay, that's really interesting. I thought a bit risky from Moyes. Uh, Emerson was in the team. I was sort of pleased to see that. It was obvious from the team lineup from reading it that we were going to be playing a back three. So Moyes had gone to switch it up a bit. I think the first thing I noticed about the team, um, aside aside from the fact that Ben Ryan wasn't there, was Skamaka starting. And we talk about, you know, sending out signals uh, in, on this channel, and I thought that was a really, really important signal in picking Skamaka, who I thought played well, by the way. Because I think what that says is, that gives the message to everybody, and particularly Antonio, which is basically the, the striker that plays well, Plays, you keep the shirt. So Skamaka played well, scored a goal against Viborg, so he keeps the shirt against Aston Villa. Really important message to keep Skamaka motivated and obviously to keep... And so Antonio knows that he's not the guaranteed starter. But something I think is really, really important for the rest of the team, you know, just to know that a shirt is up for grabs. If you play well, you keep the shirt. And I think that's really, really important. So I was, I was pleased to see that. The Skamaka performance itself... I'll tell you where I feel he's getting better. I think he'll score goals. I think his movement in the box is really good. Uh, I think he'll always score headers. I think he's he's probably a very good finisher as well. I know he had a shot which was a little bit tame, but in the main, when I see him shoot, he's, he's quite ferocious with his shooting. Uh, where I was a little bit worried when he first joined was his touch in and around the box, his hold-up play. Basically, his target man play, that looks really good. Uh, I thought that was really good. His little touches, his little flicks. It was a nice little one-two uh, with Suchek, which was in... The second half, which I which I really enjoyed, um, I thought. That, yeah, sorry, the no Ben Rama in the team. I thought was a was a massive shout, really. And I was I was really delighted that that he came on and had an impact. And I did feel that Ben Rama did have a massive impact. But you know what? I tell you what was really what was also really really good, which was the substitutions on half time. I think I watched West Ham for so long over, you know, under the David Moyes reign. And they all seem to, they come after the 65th minute, don't they? And I think that's that was really interesting that he, he made a decisive move on half-time. It's something that he doesn't tend to do. So I thought that was really, really good. Um, something, I mean, there's a few things I want to pick out here. I just want to say, otherwise I will forget it later on, even though I've got it written down, but it's such a footnote that it's something I will miss. I thought the referee was really good. Let the game, it just let the game flow, let the game play. It wasn't... Funny, funny enough, there would have been even more trouble Aston Villa last season. Do you remember that? That was I thought the Aston Villa game and the Brentford game last season were the, were the most divey, divey. They, they would have had, they had the most play acting in them. Um, and I thought it was a really, really bad game last season against Aston Villa. And I mean, if they'd have had this ref in that game, or maybe I might have even been this ref in that game, but the, the way that the referees have been instructed to officiate the games, uh, it would have. They would have been in banging trouble. Well, I say banging trouble. Didn't beat them three or four nil. Whatever it was. Yeah, whatever. Um, so I thought the ref let the game play really, really well. Just let the game flow. Let's let's have a little chat about Declan Rice, shall we? Because I think this is really important. I think we had a motivated Declan Rice, a fit and a motivated Declan Rice, who basically imposed himself on the game and got better as the game went on. And I think you could tell that this was going to happen from Declan from from his comments in the build-up. It was almost like he'd had enough. I don't mean I've had, I've had enough, I'm down in tools, or I've had enough, I'm, I'm leaving, or anything like that. But there was... A, I, I, wonder, I did wonder if he'd been stung a little bit by the criticism that he's had. It's not Actually, it's not direct criticism at, at, at Rice for the captaincy. I think he's had some criticism, people saying he's not played well. 
but I think maybe the amount of people saying we miss Pierce, we miss no miss Noble, there's no leaders. I just wonder if Rice has thought, you know what? I'm not having this, and that's how basically that that's how leaders do respond. They puff their chest out and they deal with it. And I think he showed his leadership qualities in terms of all the build up and the things he said in the build up to this game. And it, I mean, he was he was. I felt like he was back. That was that was Declan. Um, all right, not quite at his best, but getting towards it, not far off it. He looked like, he looked like Declan Rice again, didn't he? So I thought that was really good, and I thought he was I thought he was quite pivotal. He started to in the second half in particular, he started to sort of maraud a little bit more, uh, travel with the ball, which is what I like to see him do as well. So yeah, really really chuffed with uh, how I saw Declan play. Uh, something I'm not too chuffed about, I've got to tell you now, is uh, my Spitch performance. I thought I had it nailed this week. I really really did. I came 75th. Now, check out the link below, right? Join us in our in our fantasy football adventure. To do so, you've got to download the Spitch app. We've got 171 participants in our Hammers Chat Mini League, which hopefully, if I'm any good at editing, I'll pop up there. Uh, when you join the Spitch app, there's a communities tab, like a little search bar. Just type in Hammers Chat, you'll find us. Join the Mini League. It refreshes after each week. I thought I had a good one. I had Harry Kane as captain. I had Trent Alexander-Arnold. I thought, this is my week. I'm going to do it. I haven't. 75th. And we've got 171 participants. By the way, as the game week starts to go on, I will start putting up some of your teams and your scores. Uh, Spitch is a great app. You can Basically, you can go over budget if you want to, and it doesn't matter. Well, I went over budget, and I'm still basically crap. But there are lots of people on the app that aren't crap and um, it's not just a hammer chat mini league you can play there are loads of different leagues or you can just play a sort of normal fancy football game you can play free to play games and win some money or you can put down stakes and win even bigger amounts of money up to seventy thousand pounds worth of prizes each and every week 18 and over to play though folks download the link below download it to your mobile phone and we thank them for their support uh, so, yeah, so Declan, we've discussed Declan, really, really good. Absolutely delighted with what I saw from him then. OK, what else did I notice about the game? We made the crowd really quiet. Interesting songs. Ben Rama's song, by the way. I thought that was really loud, really noticeable that Ben Rama was being sung about. And isn't that great for him to, to have a song and to... I think really feel part of things. I talk about, you know, puffing your chest out earlier on. I mean, a chance for Ben Rama to puff his chest out, not selected in a starting lineup, But, you know, there would have been people... Look, I didn't watch the game, but I think had I been watching the game, I would have probably been thinking, oh, you know, bring Ben Rama. I want to see Ben Rama. Because he's seen to be the key to opening things up at the moment. I think that's really great for him to have that responsibility not just for the manager, but for the fans to want him to come on as well. You know what I mean? People have often said, you know, like, there have been some people all along who, who would not, you know, would not, it's not not have a bad word said against Ben Rama, but, you know, were convinced Ben Rama, you know, were needed, needed an arm around the shoulder, needed to feel confident. They would say he's a confidence player. And you know what? I think he's, he's maybe been given that now by, you know, by things like what happened in, in the game, in the game today or yesterday, as you watch this. So I thought that was really nice, but we kept the crowd quiet. There was, you know, and even before we went into the lead, I thought the crowd was singing about uh, Super David Moyes. Early on in a game, I heard a rendition of Bubbles, and this is what happens when you're playing a nervous team. And we're a nervous team, but it's easy when to think when you're looking at yourself, just think to yourself, Villa are very nervous. And, and I think in that home crowd, they're, they're worried. It doesn't look like... You know, but, but hey, what do I know about Aston Villa? But it doesn't look like Steven Gerrard is going to last the course there or last the season there. And I, it, it looks that way at the moment. It may change around. So that's going to be a nervous stadium. And I thought, you know, maybe we kept them quiet, quiet. We quiet in the stadium. Our fans were louder than theirs. And I thought that was a really interesting part of it. Um, I thought Bowen had moments. So I, there was that one where he was put through, and I thought he was a little bit hesitant. And from what I saw, the, the commentator was praising. Um, Matty Cash or whoever it was. I think it might have even been two full... Was it Target and Matty Cash? They sort of... Together they fought with him. I thought he was a little bit hesitant. Could have done a little bit better there. And then there was um, later on, I think Ben Rama um, sort of drove into the box and sort of clipped it up. Um, almost there with a head out. You've, I feel he's not far away. I don't think Bowen is far away before he starts really... Um, starting to impact games again. I, I mean, I'm talking one or two games away from, you know, getting on the score sheet and playing really well, which is really good. And the whole squad seems to um, 
look better, doesn't it? Uh, so, which is really good, but everything looks better after a win. I'm aware of that. Um, Kayra, I was pleased to see him play in that way. And I thought they were, for his reading of the game um, was really good. And he seems to be adjusting to it as well. And I think, I don't know, Moyes seems to like him. Look, <laughs> hey, what choice has Moyes got at the moment? Obviously not an awful lot. Kayra's in because, you know, there's a there's a a paucity of options to play at centre-half. But be interesting to see what he does. That'd be a nice position for West Ham to be in, actually. And when I say what he does, whether K will be in the team. But I thought, you know, he's, he's gradually improving. He's gradually getting better. I think it was noticeable. Um, I'm pleased. This is why we need European football, by the way. Uh, because Corne obviously wasn't involved in the starting line-up. Wasn't, you know... Moyes didn't turn to Corne to bring, you know, to try and change the game. He turned to Ben Rama. It's really important why we've got these midweek games and, and European games that players like him can get minutes under their belt. Otherwise, these guys are just sort of sat around not not doing anything, aren't they? Really um, interesting to see Moyes sort of using the substitutions when there's more substitutions available. Maybe that played a part in doing the Ben Rama substitution early. Sorry, I know this video's all about the place, but I'm sort of reading and, and as I'm thinking, it's quite fresh in my mind because, but it's also very late. I've had a lot. Long, long, long weekend of um, basic, basically playing pinball and drinking, if I'm totally and utterly honest. Um, Zuma, really good, hey? that's That looks good. That looks good. He, I, I, I was, I was going to say he looked... He didn't... I was going to say he looked sharper. I don't think he looked sharper. He didn't look faster, but he looked more motivated. He didn't look sharper, but not faster, if that makes any sense. Uh, just a little bit more switched on. I guess would be what I'm trying to say there. So I thought that was really good, really positive thing to see uh, from Zuma then. Um, yeah, he looks not for, I know it's Antonio that gets put in beast mode, but you know, when Zuma's at his best, he's got a beast mode as well. So I don't think full Zuma beast mode, um, but it was, it was good. I can't say I noticed an awful lot about Emerson. So I don't think there's an awful lot to say because I, I it was in a, it clearly was from within a formation which Moyes didn't deem um, was working anyway. So Emerson didn't get a chance to to play in in the in the good formation in the second half with the four at the back. But it obviously was very interesting that David Moyes, when he switched to the four, his choice of left back was to keep Cresswell on, and then send send Skamaka to get changed rather than the other way around. So that was interesting. I'm not reading an awful lot into that. We know what Moyes is like. It's um, it's gently, gently, softly, softly, um, which is a phrase I've just made up. But you can use it if you want. Gently, gently, softly, softly. There we go. Um, all in all, quite good. Well, it's good. We needed the points, didn't we? We needed the points. It's very good. Deflected shot. El Fornicador. I thought he was trying. He was huffing and puffing. I thought he's number of occasions he tried to put balls through. In fact, it might have been him that put Bowen through when, I, uh, when the, as I say, target and, and Cash sort of thwarted him. But I couldn't help but watch, by the way. And I don't know. I've, I, I, look, I've been on the road for... I've just driven back from Daventry and, and watched, watched the football and, and then that's it. I mean, I, the, the whole Pacata, 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 Pacata. Um, you've got to get that right. As I say, Tony's wife is Brazilian. I have to get that right. Pacatar. So I don't know. That might have been fallen through by now. I don't know. He might have signed for Tottenham. I'm assuming he doesn't. But I was watching that game and I was very much thinking, oh, I can imagine him playing in that position. You must have done that. You were doing the same thing, right? Imagining what the team would look like if Pacatar was playing in it. I've got to get that name. I can't do I can't. I basically, if he signs for some five year contract, I can't. I can't be doing that for five years. You don't want me to do that. I don't want to do that. We'll, we'll sort it out. We will, we'll get the name right. I'll learn it. I'm never I'm never the best at names. Um, I can say my own, which is a bonus as, as a start. Anyway, look, uh, there you go. That, that's my notes uh, for that game. Thoroughly enjoyable. I'm missing someone out. I, I'm, I'm missing my... There's, there's a number of players I haven't mentioned, but I think that sort of uh, wraps it up, really, doesn't it? Well done. Well done. David Moyes, Super David Moyes, as the crowd was singing, it'd be placed. That'd just be a different dressing room, a dressing room, a training ground, wouldn't it? And dressing room. So it, it will be a different dressing room because they've been in Aston Villa's dressing room. That's one thing that is true. It will definitely be, the next time they play, a different dressing room. And that is the sort of insight you get here in Hammers Chat.